In this video, we will discuss what compare item URLs are used for and how an Amazon seller could use them. The most common use of the compare item URL is to use your own Amazon item link for reference and then have estimated profit based upon the selling price it reads from that URL, which is the compare price, minus your approximate fees and supplier costs. If you go to the My Items grid and are adding an item to SKU grid, Typically, you would be adding in the ref ID, supplier URL, and variation. And for the compare item URL, you could use your own Amazon item link tagged with your Amazon merchant ID, set the option to lowest new, fill in the reprice marketplace, reprice SKU, which would be the ASIN, and add the item. So first, let's say that I have this item listed on Amazon, and I want to use my own compare item link in SKU grid. As you know, with Amazon, there can be many sellers that sell on that same ASIN number, including Amazon itself. You can view all available sellers by clicking on New From on the product page or going directly to www.amazon.com slash gp slash offer dash listing slash ASIN. When adding your compare item URL to SKU Grid, you will need your merchant ID. If you've already configured your SKU Grid Marketplace settings for Amazon, then your merchant ID would already be filled in under Settings, Marketplaces, Amazon, US or UK. The first option for the keys there is your merchant ID. Copy this merchant ID to a notepad and save it for future reference. If you do not know your merchant ID, I'll now show you how you can find it directly from your Amazon URL. Simply go to your Amazon product page, click on New From to get to the Offers page or go directly as mentioned previously. Once on the Offers page, scroll down among all available offers and find your store name as the seller in the list. Let's say that I am the OJ Commerce seller. Click on your seller name in the list. Then look at your browser's address bar at the resulting URL. Look for the and sign seller equals. Your merchant ID will be there after the equal sign. Copy the merchant ID and save it to a notepad for future reference. Now that you have your merchant ID, let's pull up the regular product page for this item in one tab and have SKU Grid open in another tab. From here, if we are adding a new entry into SKU Grid, to track this Amazon listing, we would click on the Add Single Item button. Type in your reference ID. Many sellers like to put their SKU number here, but you can make this whatever you like. Enter your supplier URL and supplier variation, if any. Then you go down to the Compare To Item Link section. Start by entering your Amazon URL for the Compare To Item Link. Stop after the ASIN. Then add a backslash question mark m equals then copy and paste your merchant id after the equal sign this allows you to tag the url to you as a seller and tell SKU grid to only display your current price and stock on the grid regardless of who has the buy box at the moment for select options select lowest new from the drop down menu this will allow you as a third party seller to display your price and stock on the grid, otherwise SKU Grid could be excluding you. Then you'd go down, set your reprice marketplace to Amazon US or Amazon UK, depending on what platform you're selling on. For the reprice SKU, you'd enter the ASIN. Be sure not to leave any white space before or after the ASIN number. Set pause repricing to no. Turning off ability to keep SKU Grid from changing your Amazon prices will be discussed in another video. But if you want SKU Grid to be able to change anything, the items must not be paused. Then you'd either choose to let the item use your default formula or override the item to give it its own price. Then click Add Item. When you return to the grid, you will see that your current selling price is displayed on the grid, not the other sellers or whoever is in the buy box and you will see that your estimated profit is not a negative number. The concept for compare item URLs for Amazon sellers would be the same when editing your existing items in the grid. Just click to edit the item in the grid, use your Amazon URL as the compare item URL, 
add backslash question mark M equals your merchant ID to the end of your Amazon URL. Select lowest new under the Amazon URL. Save and update the item. We will discuss more on adding an individual item for Amazon dropshipping in a later video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.